tentacles is rising. Just hang on, ma'am. What? What's happening? You're in a car accident, but you're in the hospital. We're gonna take good care of you. You're safe now. Doctor? Doctor. You're awake. Good. Thank you, nurse. So, how are you feeling? Uh, sore. Well, that's not surprising. After all, you were in a car accident. I was? You don't remember. Oh, you were involved in a hit and run. They brought you here to the hospital last night. I'm Dr. Barry Roberts, the neurologist on duty. Am I okay? You are a very lucky young lady. You briefly lost consciousness last night, shortly after you were admitted. But we ran a CT scan and there's no blood on the brain. There's no damage to your spinal cord, and your vitals are strong, so, um, all good news. Where was I driving when I was hit? I was told that you were crossing the street. You weren't in a car. You have no memory of anything that happened last night? <laughs> Huh, okay. Well, let's try something a little easier. Um, how about your name? <laughs> Good morning, young lady. Still no word from anyone? Not yet. So how do you feel this morning? Less sore. Good. So tell me, who is President of the United States? Emma? Oh, thank God I found you. Are you okay? Who are you? Emma, it's, it's me, Dean. Dean? Maybe you and I should have a little chat out in the Wait, hallway. You, you don't remember me? I... Dean, please. I'll be back. You get some rest. I'm a psychologist, not a brain expert. What's wrong with her? Oh, she's okay, but it's good that you're here. She's supposed to be working at a vacation home on a big project, and when I didn't hear from her, I just... I'm just, I'm glad I found her. Well, currently, she's in stable condition, and all of her vitals look good. So explain to me how she can still be functioning, but unable to recognize her own husband. I know it's upsetting. But right now, she doesn't remember anything. Not anything? Like how she got hit by a car? No. But the good news is that she's suffering from no acute trauma, no injuries. Her intracranial pressure is normal, and thank goodness there is no blood on the brain. If, if everything's OK, then why does she have no memory? Well, with head trauma, parts of the brain can get disrupted that store memory. There's two kinds of amnesia. Uh, right, anterior grade and retrograde. I remember from getting my PhD. Exactly. And we're dealing with retrograde amnesia where she has no recollection of past events. It could be due to damage to her thalamus or the hippocampus. Oh, wait, wait a sec. I thought you said there was no damage. Well, none that we could see on our tests or scans. But remember, your wife was struck by an automobile. This amnesia, how long will it last? It's difficult to say. It could be days or weeks or months. 
But it'll come back eventually, right? Well, there are exceptionally rare cases. You're saying this could be permanent? That's not the most likely scenario. But right now, we have to take things one step at a time. What your wife needs most is rest. When can I take her home? I want to keep her here a little longer under observation. Not that I'm anticipating anything. It's, it's just a precaution. OK. Um, thank you, doctor. Dr. Johnson, I am going to give you a referral to a neurospecialist. Give her a call. I think she could be a help. Bad news? No. Why do you ask? I might not remember anything, but I'm not blind. I just... You don't remember anything about us? About our life? I'm sorry. I have an idea. We look happy. We were. Are happy. What about our family? It's just you and me. No kids. Not yet. And your parents, they passed away a long time ago. Any siblings? You're an only child. But you had me. Mommy family. Who are they? Our friends. They're going to be so relieved to know you're OK. I don't feel OK. I don't feel normal. We've been through a lot, Em. It's going to take some time to put the pieces back together. Feel normal again. So the doctor, he wants to keep you overnight, but I promise I'm going to make sure he releases you as soon as possible. Where to? Home, of course. Do you think that's a good idea? Why wouldn't it be? There'll be so much I don't remember. I'll come back. Dean? Yeah? Where is my phone? Your phone? It might help me remember some things. I'll ask the nurses. certificate and her driver's license. Oh, thank you. Of course, our hospital has policies for just about everything, but with patients with amnesia, we want to make sure they go home with the right person. Um, do you see a lot of these cases? Not many, but of those we do, the patient usually improves. Improves? Well, the brain is very complex, but this is the specialist. Give her a call. She can answer all of your questions far better than I can. And Dean, 
there's no reason Emma can't stay here a few more days. Well, I thought that medically you said she doesn't need to. Well, physically, she's ready, yes, but mentally... Well, Emma loves her vacation home up north, and uh, I think it'll really ease her back into things. Just don't isolate her for too long. Rest is crucial, but so is getting back together with family and friends. Thank you, doctor. I really appreciate everything. Thank you, Dean. It was my pleasure, and I'm very optimistic that things will work out for the best. Me too. Hey, ready to go home? Uh, I think so. <laughs> Take off your ring. I want to show you something. Take a look inside. You see what it says? I am my beloved. And my beloved is me. We're going to get through this together, and I promise you. <laughs> I really can walk perfectly fine. Hospital protocol, hon. Here, I'll, I'll push you. Ah. Just gotta get you through that front door, and you can step out into your new life. New life? I just meant to have a clean slate. We would have a clean slate. Fall in love all over again. What is, if you want to. Your husband's a romantic, Mrs. Johnson. I'm sure you have a million questions. You want to ask me some? What do I do for work? You're a graphic designer. What do I design? Whatever the client asks you to. Let's keep going. Did the doctor tell you when I'd get better? No. Um, because there's no easy answer. Every case is different. But I am going to get my memories back. I don't know what the statistics are, but I know one thing. There is no one who will work harder on this with you. There is no one who loves you more. You're still the same person to me, Em. Remember that. Did you remember something? Last night, I had a dream that someone was in my hospital room coming for me. Was it a nightmare? Yeah, but it felt like a memory. It felt real. Did you see who it was? No, just a dark figure. What if I was being chased before the accident? I mean, it's hard to know man, until you get your memory back. But, I mean, it makes sense that while your brain is healing that you would be confused about what is and isn't real. Yeah. Let's get you home, yeah?
Alrighty, here we are. Come on out. I'm away from home. Play golf? <laughs> I wouldn't say that, but uh, I've tried to get you into it since we met. It's a picture of you and your parents. Tell me about them. I wish I could. I never got the chance to meet them. They passed away when you were in college. How? Car accident. <sighs> can't believe I don't remember my parents and I can't call them or visit them to fix them. What if I never get my memories back? They will. They'll come back. You're gonna get better. I feel like I've been here before. Well, that's good. How often do we come? In the summers. About every other weekend. In the winter less frequently. And our place in the city? Suburbs, actually. We moved in right after we got married, about 18 months ago. And before that? Uh, my apartment. But <laughs> it's probably good you don't remember that. The place was kind of a dump. What's this? You do Krav Maga. You started it as just self-defense, but you got really good at it. So you kept going. I'm sure it's just like riding a bike. It'll all come back. <laughs> What's that? Hi. Mr. Johnson? Uh, Dr. Johnson, yes. Of course, sorry. I'm Detective Claire Wise. I was hoping I could speak with your wife about her accident. Oh, uh, how did you know we were here? Well, I stopped at the hospital. I spoke with the Dr. Roberts. He said you'd come to a vacation home up north. I did a search and saw you were listed. Well, come on in. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, please, have a seat. Mrs. Johnson, I'm so sorry to bother you. Oh, it's okay. I didn't expect to find you up and about so soon. I just assumed they'd keep you a little longer. I thought it was best to get Emma back to her daily life as soon as possible. Familiar routines can help mental health, and that's very important for her recovery. I have a PhD in family therapy, so. Mrs. Johnson, do you mind if I ask you some questions about that night? We'd like to help you, detective, but my wife doesn't remember anything. It's okay. Um, I'll try my best. Can you tell me what you do remember about that night before you woke up in the hospital? I remember flashing lights and being wheeled into the hospital. It's, it's so foggy. Anything before that? I was running. Down a street. Running? Where? I, 
I can't. I'm so sorry. I, I can't remember. This killer. Some rest. Too much mental exertion could block her recovery. Of course. We'd love to talk to you whenever she's feeling better, though. Sure. Uh, do you mind walking me out? No. I didn't mean to upset her, but as soon as she can remember anything. If she could, Detective, she would. This is harder on her than anyone. No doubt. And I'm sure you of all people can understand that. It's your job to assess people's mental state, right? That's true, yes. So what your wife said that she was running, what do you make of that? Well, people with amnesia sometimes confuse memories with things they've seen on TV, a movie all the time, sometimes even dreams. So you can't think of any reason why your wife might have run into traffic? Was she depressed or anxious? Of course not. Whoever hit her was driving recklessly. Listen, detective, if there's nothing else, I really need to get back to Emma, okay? She needs me right now. Yes, of course. Thank you. And because I have to ask, where were you the night your wife was hit? Just a formality, right? Of course. I was uh, at a friend's house playing poker. You wouldn't mind giving me his name and number, would you? There you go. Thank you, Dr. Johnson. I'll be in touch. That detective, she should be out there looking for whoever hit you. Instead, she's asking me where I was the other night. What did you tell her? The truth, that I was playing poker at Terrence's. It's what I do every Friday. Terrence? Oh, he's, he's my good friend. You'll see him soon and hopefully you'll remember him. He has a new girlfriend that you really like. How far is town from here? Less than a mile away. Why? Thought I could get a new phone. Oh, I don't think that's a good idea. You need to rest. But I also need contact with the outside world so that I can remember things. But honey, you got tired after just a brief conversation with the detective. I'll go get you a phone. No, please, I don't want to stay here by myself. Okay, well. No stopping and talking to anybody, okay? We'll save that for whenever you're feeling better. Yeah? Okay. Maybe we'll get you an oat milk latte with vanilla. Well. Are you sure I still have the same number? Absolutely. Whoever has your number can still contact you. What about my original contacts? It's all backed up. Just gotta download it when we get home. It really is a cute town. It's nice that we live so close. Yeah, that's one of the reasons your parents bought the place. They love the idea that you could just walk into town. We're driving so you don't overextend. Dean, what if I did run out into the street without looking? Why would you be that? I don't know. Something had me scared. That's for sure. I can feel it. What? Hmm. People in your condition often create false memories to fill in the gaps that they can't fill in themselves. False memories? The medical term is called confabulation. It's a neuropsychiatric disorder where the person creates false memories without the intention of deceiving others. People believe it to be 100% true, which is why it's also called honest lying. Dean, do we know her? No, I don't think so. Why? She just looked at me funny. I'm tired. Let's go home.
Did he step out? I don't know. I was just waiting to see if he would show up. Have you heard from him? No. Mm. It's not like him. Of course, I haven't really been seeing him that long. You? A couple years. I hope he's okay. Well, maybe you just forgot. No, he once texted me to tell me he was going to be two minutes late for an appointment. Two oh, minutes. Wow. <laughs> I guess I just don't know him that well yet. I used to think I wanted a woman therapist, but Dr. Johnson is so calming and gentle. He really puts me at ease. Yeah, calm and gentle. <laughs> well, I hope he shows up soon. I'll let him know you were here. If he shows up. Thanks. <laughs> Everything okay? Yeah. It's just weird. I know you're my husband, but... You're worried about intimacy? It's okay. Uh, I can go sleep in the guest room. No. Uh, sleep in your own bed. Our bed. Right. Uh. What? That's your sign. Oh. You always say you want to be closer to the door. Why? <laughs> I have no idea, but I have found it is best not to argue with you. New start for us, him. It's gonna be okay. Good night. Good night. Dr. Johnson, it's, it's Seth, Seth Durant. I, uh, I'm sorry to be bothering you. I just, I know, um, I left a couple of voice messages and I haven't heard anything back from you, so. Uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure we had an appointment scheduled for today. It's just, uh, please call me back. You just got me a little worried. Morning. Sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. Just wanted to check in and see how you're doing. How'd you sleep? You sleep well? Yeah, like a rock. <laughs> Great. Hungry? Sure. Come on out whenever you're ready, okay? Perfect timing. I found your glasses. At first, I thought they were mine. Oh, thank you. 
You don't need them? Not really. Bon appetit. Yeah, scrambled eggs, turkey bacon, and an acai smoothie. Is this what I normally eat? Typically, you have a slice of toast and some coffee, but I thought you needed something a little bit more substantial this morning. You're not eating? I was up early. I ate already. But eat, please. Oh, I, uh, I wanted to ask, were there any follow-ups or doctor's appointments? Not unless you're getting worse. I thought Dr. Roberts mentioned something about a specialist. Oh, yeah, he did mention something about that. Um, I'll check it out. Thanks. Hey, I know that this is a lot to deal with. I'm sorry. That's okay. I told him to come later. Who? There's supposed to be a surprise. It'd probably be best if we just didn't mention okay. that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, here she is. Hey. It's so nice to see you're okay. Emma, these are our good friends, Terrence and Chloe. <laughs> Jeez, hon, give her some space. She just got out of the hospital. We are both so glad to see that you're all right. Thank you. <laughs> Please, come in, come in. Thank everybody warned me. I have no idea when you might regain your memory. They say it could be a few days, weeks, Maybe even months. So basically the doctors don't know anything. I remember you mentioning how much you love gardening. Maybe getting your hands in the dirt would help. Yeah, maybe. If I can remember what to do. I'm here if you want help. Oh, before I forget. Uh, oh, sorry, Anne, that was insensitive. It's okay. Oh. I need to count it? Oh, you don't have to, but uh, I would if I were you. <laughs> what is that? That's your husband's winnings from poker. When he didn't hear from you, he got a little distracted and, uh, well, he left him behind. Now, if that is not a testament for his love for you... What about the police? Have they had any luck in finding the person responsible? They're still looking. I'm going to give you my number. Call me if you need anything. Thank you. I'd really like that. Thank you guys for coming. I know it might not seem like it did any good, but you never know what might help. You need anything, you let me know. Hang in there, okay? Thank you. Wow, you did good. I'll give you my number. What the hell was that about? What do you mean? I mean, there's clearly something wrong with her. She doesn't remember anything. That's what we're helping with. She's got amnesia. Look, all you needed to do was pretend you were my girlfriend. But why? That is none of your business. Is he hurting her? No. Dean worships the ground she walks on. And he knows what he's doing. If he didn't think it'd help, he wouldn't have asked us to do it, okay? It just doesn't make any sense. How could this possibly help her? I'm sorry, are you a doctor? Well, Dean's a psychologist, so I'm gonna trust him now, okay? Nothing. They're really nice. Oh. It'll come back eventually. Sorry, your eggs got cold. I'll make you some more. Oh, no. I'm okay. Thanks. What day is it? Um, Thursday. Why? Well, don't you have patients to see? Um, 
<laughs> the only thing I'm focused on right now is taking care of you. But don't they need you too? Well, some I've rescheduled, others I've seen over Zoom. But that's not anything you need to worry about right now. Now, let me make you some toast. Just get in there and find out what he knows. You got it, Chief. Gabe Taylor. I'm Detective Claire Wise. Am I going to jail? I was told you waived your right to counsel. Well, I'll tell you everything you want to know. Just, just please don't send me to jail. Work with me, Mr. Taylor, and I'll see what I can do. You used star six seven to hide your number when you called in the accident, which is why it took us a little longer to trace the call. Why didn't you remain at the scene of the accident? You obviously cared enough to call 911. If I did, nobody would have believed me. About? It wasn't my fault. She was just suddenly there in front of my car. Were you intoxicated? No, of course not. I, I, I hardly ever drink, and I never drive when I do. Were you speeding? I was going under the speed limit because it was a neighborhood and the street was dark. She just ran out in front of me. Did you see anyone else? What do you mean? Anyone chasing her? Uh, no, 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 not that I saw. Okay, Mr. Taylor, why don't you tell me exactly what happened after you hit her? Because right now, none of this is making any sense. <laughs> okay. Um, I pulled over right away, and I went to check on her. She was breathing, so I called 911, and I told them to send an ambulance. And how long did you remain at the scene? Um, until some other people showed up. And I did say to them that I hadn't seen the car that hit her, but that I had already called the paramedics. Okay, and then? More and more people started showing up, and someone yelled, don't move her. I guess in case her neck was injured. Anything else? That's all that happened. The woman. How is she? Alive. Which is lucky for you. You catch that? Whole thing. You wanna book him? We'd be within our rights. So? I think we can cut him loose. He's not gonna run. I hear the victim has amnesia. True interviewer? If you could call it that. She doesn't remember much, and her husband barely let me near her. She really has no memory? Not much. What about the husband? Controlling, overly protective. But also, I don't know. You think he's involved? In the hit and run? No, I can't see how. There's just something about him that seems off. You want to dig a little? <sighs> OK. Don't get carried away just because of last time. I know. All right. Everybody warned me. Designer. Yeah, and a darn good one. Where do I work? After we got married, you quit your job, started working freelance. Why? My practice was doing well, 
So you didn't need to work as much. Hmm. What? It just doesn't seem right. Well, it's not like you just laid around the house all day. You had to pick your own clients, and it gave you more time to paint. I'm an artist? Yeah, just like your mom was. I think you're amazing, but you're much harder on yourself. The one over there, that's one of yours. You fought me putting it up. We have plenty more back at the house, but out here, you like to keep things spare. You like to come here and clear your head. When are we going home? Um, well, as soon as you've made some progress. I just feel like it will help being there, seeing my other paintings. Well, the doctor thinks it's best for you to rest so your brain can recover. I just don't know how I'm supposed to remember who I am if I just have to rest all the time alone. <laughs> what, you're getting sick of me already? No, I didn't. I didn't mean it like that. I just. I just want my life back. And taking care of yourself is how you're going to get it back. Okay, well, what if tomorrow we go into town and we go out for lunch, maybe somewhere we've been before? It might jog my memory. Mm. I promise, I will rest before and after. Please. <sighs> okay. Okay, we'll go. Hi, welcome to Rodney's. Hi, uh, table for two, please. Okay, follow me. Uh, something in the back, secluded. Um, I'll take a look. My wife needs quiet. Oh, I'm okay. It's fine. Sure, right this way. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. Feels familiar. That's good. You always really like the cops out here. It's strange that I don't even remember what I like to eat. I'm sure it's frustrating. But the good news is everything on the menu is delicious. Dean, can I tell you something? Okay. Last night, I had another dream that someone was chasing me. Who was it? That's the thing, I never see his face. But I, I know that he is there to hurt me. I'm sure of it. The psychologist in me would say that this faceless man doesn't represent a real person, but an inner fear that your subconscious is wrestling with. No, he is real. I can feel it. And I'm sorry, but you gotta trust me. There is no one who wants to hurt you. Everybody loves you. I thought that was you. How are you? It's me, Ryan. Don't you remember? I'm sorry, I... We're just leaving. Why don't you stay? Have a drink on me, we can catch up. Honey, come on. What was that about? What do you mean? That guy, Ryan. Well, he's just a bartender who served you before. I got that, but why did you act like that? 
I didn't want to embarrass you, Em. Embarrass me? Well, yeah. Do you want me to announce to everyone that you have amnesia? I don't know, but it was... Well, you tend to like to keep your private life private, so... Okay. Thank you. You look tired. Probably. <laughs> Just been busy with work and the accident. I'm sorry. Oh, I don't need to apologize. You okay? Yeah. It's got a lot on my mind. Here, give me this. What is it? It's a sleeping pill. Do I usually take them? No, well, not all the time, just when you need it. And I need one now? Sleep is crucial to your recovery. Yeah. <clears throat> Night. Night. Just give me a heart attack. What are you doing? Thank you, Scotty. Thank you so much for seeing me, Doctor. I'll be brief. I oh, know you're very busy. It's my pleasure. Come on, walk with me. Uh, just curious, mm -hmm. how common is it for someone in Emma Johnson's condition to be released so soon? Common? Well, some patients are comfortable in the hospital, and others want to get home at the first opportunity. And Mrs. Johnson, she was excited to get home? Well, I don't know, but her husband seemed to think it was necessary. What do you make of him? What do you mean? Well, was there anything about him that seemed off? Was he manipulative or argumentative? Well, he did seem anxious about his wife, but why do you ask? Are you suspecting something's wrong? No, just checking. Thank you so much, doctor. I'll let you get back to your work. My pleasure. Mm -hmm. and I'll return your call as soon as possible. Dean, it's me. I spent all morning in bed, and now I'm just here, getting antsy. Are you coming home soon? He's parenting. Excuse me. Um, do we know each other? 
Uh, not really, no. I just, um, I remember you. From here? Mm-hmm. You were here with that guy that you were walking with the other day? Oh, my husband. Oh, he's your husband? Yeah, does that seem strange? No, it's just, um... He followed you in one day when you were coming to pick up your coffee order. You were fighting. We were? Mm -hmm. I think you told him to leave you alone, and I think you even <laughs> called him a stalker. When was this? Seven, eight months ago? I remember because I just started working here. Emma. Emma. You had me worried sick. Um, I'm fine. I'm totally fine. Well, when I got home and I called out for you and you didn't answer, I just, I, I got worried. I'm sorry. I should have left a note. It's okay. Um, let's get you home. Okay. You can't do that, Emma. I didn't realize I was a prisoner in my own home. You're not a prisoner. You've just had a traumatic experience. Besides my memory loss, I'm perfectly functional. What, what if something would have happened? What if you couldn't remember how to get home? What if you fainted or something worse? Why would I call you a stalker? What? At the cafe a few months ago, I asked you to leave me alone. Why would I do that? Uh, clearly, that's not a real memory, but it's your brain's way of trying to process. It's not my memories. The girl from the cafe was telling me about it and things started coming back to me. I remember you were wearing a blue t-shirt. You're right. Um, you're right. We had an argument, but it was a small one. That's why I didn't remember it. It was serious enough for her to remember. Well, I got a little jealous. You'd been hanging out with one of your work colleagues. You said I was freelance. Oh, one of your clients. Anyway, I tracked your phone. I, I, I know I shouldn't have, but I did. And you really let me have it. But that's all it was. Just a small argument. Couples fight all the time, and even us. I know couples fight, but wives don't usually call their husbands stalker. You don't even know if that's true, Em. You're going off of something a stranger thinks she remembers, something that happened months ago. Are you gonna believe her over your own husband? Wives. Yes, Chief? Got some video on that hidden run of yours. There's a traffic cam? No, no, a bystander got it on his cell, brought it into the station. Where is it? On the server. Hey, hey. You know, there may be nothing there. Just because you missed that the husband was involved that one time. I, I know. It wasn't your fault. We all missed him. You know that, right? Just don't go making something out of nothing just because of the past. I didn't follow my intuition on that last case because there wasn't enough hard evidence. I'm not gonna make that mistake again. All right. Keep me posted. You said that by the time the ambulance arrived, a bunch of people were already at the scene. That's right. And you were sitting in your car. Could you see the crowd that formed around her? Yeah. This is a still from a video taken at the scene. Do you see that man in the hoodie? Yeah. We can't make out his face in the video. Do you think you would recognize him? Yeah. Is this the guy? 
Yeah, he was the one who said no one should move her. Who was he? The victim's husband. Dr. Johnson! Are you there? Hello? You looking for Dr. Johnson? Yes, I I'm actually one of his patients. Ah, uh, a lot of people have been looking for him as well. Yeah, um, how do you know where he might be? No, but he has a vacation home upstate that he uses a lot. Maybe he's there. Do you know where that is? I really couldn't say. But good luck. Sorry, um, I'm just leaving. I have a few errands I gotta run. Oh, just give me a few minutes and I'll get ready. Sorry, it's work related. So I have to stay home alone all day? Right now you're doing exactly what you need to be doing. Nothing physically demanding or requiring concentration. No more walking into town, okay? It's only gonna set you back. Do I have any painting supplies here? No, you don't. But that is a great idea. I'll pick you up some in town if I can. Thanks. All right, well, I'll be back before you know it. Remember, no walking into town, okay? That is great that she's improving. <laughs> Just great. <laughs> what do you want, Terrence? That detective you told me about. She called. But don't worry, I said everything you told me to say. She asked for anyone else's number? I offered to put her in touch with the others, but she said it wasn't necessary. So, I got to thinking. You've been paid, and paid well but not enough to lie to a cop. You're blackmailing me? I would say I'm reassessing my value. Okay. How much? Five grand. Are you out of your mind? Seems to me that's a small and fair price to pay for keeping you out of jail. I'll have to go to the bank. Obviously. I'll stop by later. No. You are not coming to my house again. We'll meet somewhere else. Suit yourself. <clears throat> oh, just remember, I'm being generous here. Putting myself on the line for you. OK, see ya. You sure I can't get you anything? Water? Oh, I'm fine, thanks. Sorry I can't stay late. Um, my shift starts in half an hour. Oh, that's okay. I'm just glad you're here. 
I have been going a little stir crazy. I bet. But you're looking rested. I've been getting a lot of R&R. &R. Thanks to Dean, he's been making sure of that. Chloe, can you tell me how we met? Oh, um, through Terrence, of course. I'm just, I'm trying to transplant myself back in time so I can remember. What about Dean? Did we see him in love? Oh, yes, very. Why? Okay, um, please don't tell Terrence because I, I don't want Dean to find out. I don't know if those feelings are ever going to come back. Because you're not feeling them now. I don't think I've ever been in love with Dean. I just don't feel at home with him. <sighs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't be saying this. It's probably gonna come back in time. Of course it will. Yeah. Sorry, I totally forgot. I said I would come into work a little earlier today. Oh, sorry to rush out on you. Okay, um, I'll walk you out. Oh no, you stay put. I'm already gonna get an earful from parents about wearing you out. Will you come back soon? Yeah, of course. <laughs> See you soon. Bye. Bye. Rodney's Bar and Grill, how can I help you? Yes, hi. I was just wondering, could I speak to your bartender? I think his name was Ryan. Who's this? Oh, uh, my name is Emma Johnson. I'm a customer. I was in a couple days ago. Hello? Ryan's dead. I... I just saw him. What happened a few nights ago? What happened? The cops think that it was a robbery gone bad. He was attacked outside his car just after a shift. I'm so sorry. Yeah, well, we're all pretty shaken up here. Yeah, I can imagine. I'm really sorry. Um, bye. Frankie's parenting vlog surpassed two million viewers. They're here, aren't they? My counseling has saved a lot. That's an... Whoa, whoa, this, this isn't five grand. It's all I could get. That's not really my problem, is it? Look, you wanted more money, now you've got it. Look, man, I... I don't know what you're trying to pull off, but I know it's worth a lot more than this. Okay, fine. You want to call the cop? Go right ahead. She's going to start digging your business, too. I know how to handle my business. She wouldn't find a thing. You get me 2,000 more, or I pick up the phone. Then what? Every time you're hard up for cash, you're just going to put the squeeze on me again? Well, I guess you should have thought of that before. Oh, I have.
Emma? In here. Something wrong? I called some of the numbers on my phone to see if it would spark anything. And? Did it? Other than Chloe, the calls aren't going through. You spoke to Chloe? Yeah, she was just here. Really? Why? Dean, why can't I call any of my friends? Maybe the cell service isn't working. No, I reached Chloe, but it's the other numbers. Where did you get them? The cloud, where everything was automatically backed up. I also called that restaurant. Rodney's Bar and Grill, where the bartender knew me. That guy, Ryan, he died. Oh my God. Um, do they, uh, do they know what happened? Cops think it was a robbery gone wrong. Wow. Murder. In this town, it's... It's awful. I was going to surprise you, but after hearing that news, I don't feel particularly celebratory. Um, I went into town to buy you some paints but they didn't have any. So instead, I got you this. What is it? Open it. Thank you. Anytime. Yeah, I need to fast track a search warrant on the Johnson residence. Yeah, but isn't there another judge who could? I see. Sure, thanks. Come closer. Let me see.
You look beautiful <sighs> and just like her wedding night. Listen, I've been thinking. Why don't we get away from here together? Away? We haven't even been to our house. Yeah, but we can get a new house. We can make new memories. Wait a minute. I don't understand. I thought you said being around familiar surroundings was good for my recovery. I did. But you've made such good progress. What do you say, Em? Is someone coming over? No. I'll be right back. Hello? Hi. Can I help you? Yeah, I'm looking for Dr. Johnson. <laughs> uh, I'm Dr. Johnson. No, I mean the real Dr. Johnson. Emma, give us a minute, please. Leave now. OK, look, we need to go. Um, I, I honestly don't know okay, what's going okay. on here. Listen, just calm down, OK? The doctor's been in an accident. I'm his colleague, Dr. Vale. I thought you said you were Dr. Johnson. That's his wife in there. She was in the accident, too. And she's just feeling very confused right now, and I don't want to upset her. OK, is, is he OK? Yeah, he's going to be fine. OK, but um, I'll have him reach out as soon as possible, OK? Uh, OK. I I'm sorry. I hope I didn't upset her. Yeah. He was upset that he wasn't able to get a hold of me the last few days. But he didn't know who you were. Well, the man has a psychotic disorder. Sometimes he has delusions. He didn't look psychotic to me. Emma, please. That man thought I was his father a few weeks ago. I probably should have rescheduled his appointments, but after what happened with you, you were my only priority. I'm sorry if that man scared you. You know that. I'll, I'll 
I'll take the gag out, but you can't scream. If you scream, I have to put it back in. Got it? <laughs> what we had, Emma, it was special. You felt it too, until he showed up. We only went on a couple of dates. You don't even know me! Don't say that. That is not true. It is true, Chris. No. If you hadn't met Dean, we would be a couple. Where is Dean? What did you do with my husband? You made me do. You're always making me do bad things. You were chasing me. You ran out into that street. I thought I'd lost you. Then you started mumbling questions about not knowing where you were, not understanding what happened. And at that point, I, I knew with your husband out of the way, we could have a chance. Place. And I snuck in. I got all the proper documentation I would need. And then I got the keys for here. Luckily, I knew all about it because I had already followed you here. You wore his clothes. You slept in our bed. You were sick. Yeah, well, I, I couldn't take you back to the house. There are too many things that would give me away. Plus your neighbors and all the questions I had to isolate you. What did you think you'd just get away with it? Someone would find out eventually. Yeah, I was going to start an electrical fire at your house, burn down all the evidence. Then, since you couldn't remember anything, I would convince you to move away with me, get a new start. But all your memories will be only of me. But you had to ruin that. Chris, Chris, please, don't do this. I'm sorry, Emma.
Come on, Emma. You know I'm better than him. Hey. Hey. I'll take that. Thank you. I was in the neighborhood, so I figured I'd stop by and see how you're doing. Getting better every day. So your memory's back? Yeah, I still have some holes, but it's almost back to how it was before the accident. So you're leaving? Yeah, there's nothing much for me here, except bad memories, and the irony is I want to forget those. Yeah, where will you go? I've got some cousins up by the coast. Stay with them for a while, maybe permanently. Change might do you some good. Yeah, could definitely use a clean slate. If you hadn't turned up that day. You won't be bothering you or anyone else anymore. Thank you. Hey, if you ever come back this way, or you need anything, you know where to find me. Thanks. Okay, Ronnie, let's go.